And new tonight, this next story sounds like something out of a movie, but for a Wisconsin family, it is all too real. Investigators say a missing kayaker they spent weeks searching for may have actually faked his own death. Maury Glover joining us now from our newsroom with more details on this very unusual story, Maury. Well, that's right. Investigators don't know why this married father of three from Watertown, Wisconsin, left his family behind, but they want him to come back for his children's sake. Uh, this one tops my 18 and a half years of being sheriff. When Ryan Borgward didn't return home from a fishing trip on Green Lake in southeastern Wisconsin in early August, local authorities believed he had drowned. But now they believe he is alive and well, instead of at the bottom of the lake. It didn't turn out the way uh, we thought it was going to turn out. It turned out completely different. After Borgward disappeared, sheriff's deputies found his van and trailer in a nearby park, and then his capsized kayak in the lake, as well as his fishing pole and tackle box with his wallet, keys, and ID inside. But after scouring that section of the lake that is over 200 feet deep in some parts, dozens of times over 54 days, investigators decided to look in a different direction. The pieces started adding up that uh, more and more that uh, he's definitely not in, in our lake. Investigators discovered Borgward had recently transferred money to a foreign bank account, replaced the hard drive on his computer, and communicated with a woman in Uzbekistan. He had also gotten a new passport, which was checked by Canadian authorities the day after he was reported missing and had taken out a $375,000 life insurance policy early in the year, leading investigators to believe Borgwart faked his death and fled the country. You don't see this happening every day, okay? It's not normal um, to uh, all of a sudden just leave your family. Investigators believe Borgwart is in Eastern Europe, but they aren't sure where but they say they won't stop looking for him until they find him. We're going to continue to follow through on this case until we can't turn any more leads. Now, the Green Lake County Sheriff says he wants restitution for the resources they spent looking for Borgward. He is also looking at whether Borgward broke any laws, but so far he hasn't been charged. In the newsroom, Maury Glover, Fox 9. All right, thanks, Maury.